So I like to warm up my legs doing this exercise at the beginning of the session. Start with the adductors going out first and then change to the adductors going in. Um, increase the weight slowly on the way up and then the working set was a stack um, for two working sets to complete failure. Um, yeah, time and attention guys, keep it slow and steady. So yeah, I've just changed my training at the moment and um, rather than doing a ton of sets per exercise, I'm just sticking to like um, mostly just two sets per exercise, but going really high volume and to complete failure within that set. Um, that's just what I found is um, working good for me at the moment, so. So I need to invest in some squat shoes really because I always squat in just bare, like just trainers, shitty trainers. And what tends to happen is my heels rise at the back, which is obviously not good. Um, so usually to solve the problem, I put a 2.5 plate underneath and drive off the heels. But that's, it's not really solving the problem. Obviously there's an issue with my body um, stabilizing muscles, probably um, needs getting worked, whatever, whatever it is. It's something not right. So by using the plates underneath my heels, they're not solving the problem. So today was the first time I decided that to just squat flat footed. Don't normally like doing this. I find it uncomfortable. But yeah, that's what I did today. And it felt really awkward at the beginning. I'm not going to lie. But it's all about training your body um, certain ways and techniques and stuff. So yeah, the first couple of warm up sets, just trying to find the right form pattern. Um, my muscle connection on my legs make sure my stance is right and yeah just utilizing the muscle basically but um it did feel awkward um not gonna lie but yeah it'll come with time so and hopefully i'll buy some squat um shoes soon and that should fix it here i'm just psyching myself up ready for the this is going to be the working set Yeah, my form is not the best like i said it's a new kind of variation of a squat for me as i normally wear trainers and drive off my heels but i'm trying to change the way that i squat because flat footed squatting is going to build the best muscle um so yeah we're doing a uh, back off set here with 100 Now we're gonna to change to a close-footed squat. 
even though the um, there's not much difference in my stance, it still is. So the weight comes off and we go again. But the working set of this is just going to be one plate, um, just repping out for two sets. So I was listening to a guy the other day talking about the hack squat, this exercise, and basically saying that he, his set lasts for around like eight minutes long. Like he doesn't leave the hack squat until after about eight minutes. So that's how long his set is. And he doesn't go super heavy. His, by the way, his legs are so well defined, huge muscle mass. And he doesn't even go that heavy, but he doesn't leave it for about eight minutes It's a constant tension and like it's not so much about the weight this exercise it is all about like just this tension on the muscle and the mind muscle connection and the squeeze like like most of training is but this exercise definitely more so as well i'm just testing the waters add a weight see how it feels add another weight see how it feels so yeah just um because we've done exercise before, so nothing crazy. Just fatigued and stuff. So, so seeing out a nice way that we can get muscle contraction on. Just before failure, you don't want to injure yourself. So when you feel like we're just just nearly failed, that's what you Now what I'm going to move on to next is lunges, but I'm going to go kind of light as I'm fatigued and I'm out of breath. Cardio, it's off season so I don't get in fatter, so harder, cardio masking training. All I'm really doing is walking to the gym and back at the moment, no uh, machine cardio with. After one body weight set, we're not going to be continuing with that exercise. This is why it's important to feel what your body's telling you. Don't just come in and say, I'm sticking to this program no matter what. It all depends on your sleep, what you're eating that day, previous days, what your energy levels are like, etc. and so on. So clearly I'm fatigued. I'm not going to work the muscles as good as I would have wanted in that weighted exercise, so I'm scrapping it. 
and now we move on to Hunt Street. Same again, warm up, keep increasing the weight until you get to the working set. This working set today was 40 kilo dumbbells. Now everyone's favorite, yes, calf exercises. So I normally do two per leg workout, um, but just smash it, like probably do like six, six sets um, for like a lot of reps as well. Usually do this exercise with some sort of machine or barbell or the Smith machine standing raises is pretty good. All I talk about with my exercises and training pro program and routine and everything, I see a lot of people out there at the moment, just everyone's trying to prove people wrong and say, this is the right way to do this and this is the right way to do that. This is not what I want like my channel or this to be about. I want it to be, this is just the, my way of doing things, which I found what works best for me. Everyone's different at the end of the day. So like everyone's path to, getting what they want is going to be different and everyone's goals are going to be different and their body's going to respond to different things differently so yeah i mean I, I, like i said i want this to be a channel where people can come to me and, and say why not try this or or give me advice on this like i'm not claiming to know it all i'm far from it i know what i know and what works for me and that's that's it all i'm doing is showing um, you guys my ways of doing things and that's that's it so I don't know if you know already but I like to talk talking some more shit here yeah? and if you can see behind the window it's actually dark outside that's how long I've been in the gym for for fuck's sake Oh, I need to get a life tonight. All right, yeah, so this is a drop set now, last drop set before we go into abs.
So competition, competition is finally happening. God willing, this year I will be competing in bodybuilding. I'm so excited. After training years and years and years and years, I wasn't always into bodybuilding as the sport in general. Like I, I only started kind of following it and watching videos probably about around three years ago. The last year I really got thoughts about wanting to compete, cut all my body fat and um, I wanted to see if there was potential for me to step on stage after losing all the weight if I still had a decent amount of muscle to um, compete and step on stage. I was fairly happy with the results. I wanted to compete last year, but it was a bit of a rush because it was the end of the year, so there weren't many shows on. So I decided next year, 2020, I'm definitely gonna do it. I'm in contact with someone who we are looking at like what sort of shows that I should enter, but it's hard to say right now because we don't know what I'm gonna look like when I've done a cut again. We don't know what the results of this off season uh, and I'm gonna be looking like. So I'm just gonna focus on my training, focus on eating well, and then my cut. And when I get shredded, then later on in the phase, we can, we can, we can say, right, look at this show. I think I should do that, I, should, I think I should do that. And then decide. So I'm just focusing on bringing my best version first and then the show, I'll just pick a show, like kind of like last minute sort of thing. I've been in, in touch with someone who does, who's competed before. So he's been taking me through um, like the pose routine and that it's, it's, it's really intense, like the posing. I'm actually shocked how intense it is and it's hard to hold the pose for like even just 10 seconds. So I'm practicing that every morning, every night. Yeah, I just can't, I can't wait. I don't, I don't care if I finish first or last or whatever. It's, even though it's a competitive sport, it's not about that for me. It's all about like the process. Having a, a goal and a vision and trying to bring the best package that I can possibly bring by doing everything right day after day after day. Yeah, the process and the journey is, is the thing for me that, that I'm excited for. And obviously show day and, and whatnot is gonna be good as well. Cause I'm actually quite like um, a reserved kind of, kind of person. I'm, I'm an introvert at times, extrovert at times, but most of the time I like just being in my house on my own. So stepping on stage with speedos on and fake tan is completely out of my comfort zone. But it's gonna be good. It's a it's it's a challenge. It's something different. I can't wait. I can't wait. I normally say uh, on my end of my videos, uh, leave your comments in the comment section. Give me your feedback. But I don't get no comments off anyone. I've got hardly any following at the moment, so I'm not gonna say that. But anyone that does watch my videos and that is following my journey, um, I appreciate you. Keep following. The big sacrifice for me, this is like, it's a change in career. I've become a personal trainer. I've been turning down jobs all over the place. I'm actually a qualified plumber, but last year I decided I wanted to, to get into the fitness and personal trainer. So I've actually been turning down, refusing to work, to pursue this, to pursue career, like basically. So um, yeah, it's a big sacrifice, but for, for so long I didn't follow my passion and what, what I feel I'm good at. This step last year to completely just cut it all off and stick to this fitness. So that's what I do. I'm a personal trainer and now competing in bodybuilding and prepping for that show. So yeah, peace out and I'll see you in the next video.